Hi, I'm Carl with the Minor Chord Music Outfitters in Littleton, Massachusetts, here today with another short video in our series of how to shop for an acoustic guitar. Today we're going to talk about construction of the guitar, and in particular the construction of the body. So if you look at the three guitars next to me, one is priced under $200, the one in the middle is 200 and some, and the one closest to me on your left is well over $2,000. So what's the difference between all of these? Well, as I said, one of the big differences is the way the body's constructed. Let's take a look at these two pieces of wood. Okay, we've got, on the one side, we have wood that's made up of layers. Laminate wood or plywood even, you might call it. On your left, we have solid wood. And those two different kinds of wood make a big difference in the sound of the guitar. Plywood is really strong, but that's not necessarily a good thing when you want the whole body of the guitar to resonate along with the strings. The plywood fights the strings, you don't get as much resonance or as much good tone out of the guitar. Solid wood, on the other hand, resonates much better given the same thickness, but on the other hand it's a lot more difficult to work with, hence the higher price tag on guitars made out of solid wood. So to show you the difference, we're going to play some very simple chords on each of these three guitars. So give us a moment, we're going to rearrange the microphone, get it close to the guitars, and you'll see what I mean. Alrighty, so here we have our microphone set up right near the guitar, so you can hear it nicely. And my first guitar has a plywood or laminate wood top, but also laminate wood back and sides. Now, this is the least expensive configuration. The top is the most important for the sound because it's made to vibrate by the strings. So, let me just play a simple chord here. I'm going to play the same chord on all three of these guitars. They're the same body size, a dreadnought, all three of them. And hopefully on this recording you'll be able to hear the difference in the tone and the resonance. So here we go. Our first chord on our under $200 all laminate guitar. Okay, that's pretty decent, that's respectable, but let's see what happens if we go to a guitar that has a solid wood top and still a laminate back and sides. Alright, so here we have our second guitar. This is just over $200, so you can see there's not a huge price difference there. This guitar has a solid wood, solid spruce top, and laminated back and sides, so plywood back here but a solid top. I'm going to play the same chord as before and see if you can hear the difference in tone. Rewind the video if you have to. The difference in tone here and especially the longer resonance. So I heard the difference here. Hopefully you did on the video as well. Uh, particularly in the bass. I felt a lot more depth to that tone, a lot more depth to that guitar. All right, so now let's make the big jump from the $200 kind of range of guitars to, this is a very nice Martin D28, well over $2,000. And here we have not only the solid spruce top, but also solid rosewood in this case, but solid wood sides and back. As I said before, more expensive, uh, for a number of reasons, but one of the primary reasons is all of that solid wood. It's not easy to work with. It takes a much more experienced craftsperson to make a guitar out of that kind of material. Alrighty, so here's our third guitar. Same chord. Listen and again rewind if you have to to compare. Here we go. Now that's beautiful tone in the guitar. On the other hand, like I said, costs 10 times as much. So it's up to you. There's no right or wrong here. I'm not trying to get everybody to buy a $2,000 guitar. But when you come into the minor chord, we'll have that discussion about what kind of player are you, um, what are your ears telling you, what do you prefer, and we'll send you home with a guitar that you'll be happy with. Come on in and visit us. Thanks.